What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me. You know me, your homie, Jake Juggalo, together with my brother, my ninja. Let's go, And we welcome you to yet another edition of Spoopcast. Welcome. A podcast adventure. Indeed. Uh, indeed. And, uh, well, first off, let, let me and my brother Michael give a big shout out to the ninjas out there who are still clinging on and listening to the podcast adventures. The Spoopcast. Spoopcast. A big whoop whoop. Spoopcast. A big love to the ones who are still listening to these episodes. Indeed. And there are a few. There are a few. A small handful, but the ones who are listening to it, we love you guys, man. We love you. Yes, yes, we indeed. Really do. Yes, indeed. Hmm. So, what's been going on in your life, Michael? Well, a few days ago, I went to the dentist. Oh, we're going straight to the uh, to the most yeah. epic. Uh... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn, grab your beer, grab your cigarettes or your other smokes, because you are in for a horror story by Michael the Psycho. Indeed, but I do need to say this. You must have to do a little bit of a door spring, and I can no steeds geen good Engels praten. You know what I am saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but but the view, but, but the listeners probably did not know what the hell you just said. He's well, asking. He, but, well, shut up, then. He said he doesn't know all the English words, so every now and then I have to jump in and uh, be his uh, motherfucker translator. So I do, I do, but because I went to the dentist. He went to the dentist. English is a little food. His English is like Jackie Chan. You know what trouble? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what he said. Indeed. But anyways. Anyways, listen up, you guys. Here it comes. So I went to the dentist. Yeah. I was uh, in the waiting room. Mm hmm. For a long time. It was boring. It was boring as hell, but I was. Listening with my MP3 player thingy, listening to MCF. MCF, all right, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, there was these little kids, they were jumping, jumping all over the place. Jesus. It was, yeah, it was, they were screaming, they were jumping all, all over the place, they were pissing on everything. Wow. So that seriously happened. That's I'm it. not joking. That seriously happened. They they were pissing all over the place. Yeah, they almost pissed on me. Oh shit! But I was like, if you do that, I'm gonna piss on you, and you will not like it. Indeed, you will show dominance. <laughs> I will. I'm like uh, Caesar. Well, I will actually pee on someone. Oh yeah, I, I would do that too. I know. I know. It, yeah, but anyways, after I don't know about. Uh, half hour waiting, it was my turn to sit in the chair. But but my question is, and probably uh, the listeners as well, why did you have to go to the dentist? What was wrong with your teeth? Well, uh, a, a nerve, am I saying that correctly? Yes, a nerve in my teeth. Yeah. It was, uh, how do you say that? It was, uh, it was not in my teeth. It was out of my teeth. Oh, one of his nerve endings was uh, protruding out of his yeah, teeth. I, and it hurt like hell. So it's like like a like a worm crawling out of the dirt when it's uh, yeah. when when it was raining and, and and stuff, something like that. Yeah, like, yeah, something like that. But it hurt like hell, man. Yeah, that's because the nerve endings are supposed to be on the inside and not on the outside. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, that's true, but that's a small detail. Yeah. I mean, who needs it, am I right? Who needs, who needs nerve endings? <laughs> nerve endings. Well, I need a nerve gun, but okay. But, but okay, yeah. you, you, you were at, at the dentist, it was your turn, you were about to sit in that voluptuous comfortly chair of death yeah, no, it was pretty 
uncomfortable. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was, uh... That's the yeah. that's the mind fuck. They make you feel comfortable, and then the the the, the Nazi from hell comes out there with his torture tools and starts fucking you in your mouth. I'm sorry for the yeah. language, but. It's the spoop gas. They don't mind it. They've heard worse. Yeah, true. So anyway, you were in the comfortable chair of hell. Yeah. Yeah, I was. And, uh, well, his assistant came to me. Was it and a yes, chick? it was a chick. Sweet. He was like, well, what's wrong with you? And then she was, was like, Hello, Michael. What's wrong with your teeth? No, 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 no. It, it, it went something like this. Hello, Michael. Wow, you're looking sexy today. I was like, please don't kill me. Jesus. She, she sounds pretty sexy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was really scared. Yeah. But she did have a nice butt. Did, did the balls, uh, did, did she show any balls? No, neither did I, because uh, my balls already left ten minutes ago <laughs> when I was in there. It was like, hell no, I'm not staying here, and uh, you know, uh, my balls have a mind of their own. But anyways, Anywho's. he was like, well, what are you doing here, my call? <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this ain't date night. Damn, she sounds like Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget, but okay. She could be. She she did have a she did have a metal arm, so didn't oh. question it, didn't care. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yeah, my nerve ending uh, is uh, is in a place where it shouldn't be. Oh. She was like, okay, the dentist will be in soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there goes my lungs, but I was like, okay, okay, I'll just be sitting here. Yeah. Wait till he comes. Well, and after five minutes waiting, the son of a bitch he came, came in. He came in and he was like, oh, hello, Michael. Let me take a look at your teeth. And I was like, okay. And then he shined this big bright light in my eyes. That, that. And I was, uh, I was blinded for uh, for a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. That that's how they go to work. They be like, "Hello, Michael. Let me take a look at your teeth. But first, I'm going to blind the fucking shit out of you in your eyes. To blind you. Yeah. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, but anyways, he he said, "Oh, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I I need to do his voice too. Need to do his voice as well." Well, okay then. Well, open your mouth, Michael. Let's take a look. All right, okay. And I, did, and I opened my mouth, and he was like, Oh my God, that's a gaping hole. And I wanted to say that's what she said, but <laughs> I didn't. No. I didn't because, hey, I'm a professional. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yep. And he was like, uh... Dude, what, what, he, he wanted to do, uh, what was it, uh, what was it again? He wanted to put a finger up your butt? <laughs> no, 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 his assistant already, uh, has, uh, had her finger in my butt, but I was like, okay, whatever, do with me what you will, uh, help me out first. Okay. But he wanted to do, uh, what was it again? Uh, say it in Dutch, I'll translate it for you. Yeah, but you know me, I, uh, I, I forgot. I forgot what it was called. But he wanted to do something to my teeth, and it was gonna cost me 400 euros. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he wanted to uh, give my homie Michael a root canal treatment. Yeah, that. I knew that. And, and, and that, in, 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 in the Netherlands, that is like 400 uh -huh. Uh -huh. euros. If you don't know yeah. what what the currency of euros is, uh, Google Google. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's expensive. It it, it's expensive. Four hundred euros for a root canal treatment, and trust me, 
that that's not a trip you want to take down that road. It's not pleasant at all. No, it, it certainly was not. But I was like, because I, I called you a couple of days earlier, and I was like, uh, I said to you, if he says that to me, I'm going to say to him, yank that bitch out. Yeah, and you... I did say that to him. And he was like, okay, that is a good idea. Let me just get my tools. I'll be right back. And then he went like, and, uh, because you got flat feet, you're like, yeah, grab. Yeah. How did you, were you there with me? I saw it. He grabbed his tools and went like, I got my tools, Michael. Yeah, yeah, and that's how that happened. But he was like, so he he, he wanted to, uh, no, what did he do? Oh yeah, yeah, he. Uh, First, I, I got some anesthetic. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. He, sh yeah. he shoved a big needle in your mouth. Yeah. He numbed the uh, shit out of it like Bill Cosby would. Ten on a, on times. That happened ten times, by the way. He gave you a Cosby treatment in your mouth. Yes. Yes. And I didn't enjoy it. You didn't enjoy it, but he, it became numb, so you couldn't feel anything. No, so he got a... What was it? Uh, what's it called? A wrench? No, 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 not a wrench. Yeah, he grabbed pliers. the monkey wrench. No, yeah. Is that pliers? Dude, or just say it. Say it in Dutch. I, I can translate it. Tongue. A, a, a tongue. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's pliers. Okay. If I'm correct. Okay, so, yeah, he, he got the, these really mini miniature pliers, and he was like. Okay, Michael, hold still. So he yanked at my tooth. Ah. Uh, it didn't work. No shit. So he said, all right, I'll need something else. So he went with a bigger one, and this one was massive. Ah. Uh, and he yanked a piece of my tooth out, and he was like, oh my, oh my God. I forgot I had three other people next door. Mm. So why don't you just lay back? And I'll be back in a sack. And he went off and he left me there. He went like this. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he left. Look, the, I'm going to say it. The son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. The motherfucker left me there for felt like half an hour. Oh. I don't know how long it was. But it certainly was 20 minutes. Shit. Sure. So, so let me get let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. He used some ancient tool device to break a piece off your teeth, of, of your tooth, yes. your your mold, whatever, the, the the big piece in your mouth. He broke it off. Yes. And then he and then he just straight up left. Yeah, he was like, I need to. Oh. Why did you just stay here, Michael? I'll be right back. I, uh, I need to have some other people. There are just two small, hyperactive children next door. And then he left. Jesus. And then he left. And his assistant, too. So I was laying there, and I was getting a panic attack. Yeah. Because the light was still shining in my goddamn eyes. And you know what happens when I get a panic attack, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I know what happens when you get a panic attack. It, it's uh, it's not pleasant to look at, and if you're not a professional, just uh, just leave him be. Yeah, and look, he, he was gone for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, but he was gone for a long time, and I was, and I was sitting there, I was trying to feel if a part of, if he pulled uh, half of it out or whatever, because if he, if my tooth was still uh, in the perfect condition, you, you, or in the same condition as I walked in, you, you was fingering. Then I just would have left. You, you was I fingering. Left. So, so, so you was basically fingering your tooth with your tongue. Yes, I was. Trying, yes. trying to check the damage. Yes. And it was. And fuck you, by the way. I guess I'm <laughs> fuck you, by the way. Why, thank you, thank you. 
So it was messed up. So you chose to stay in the chair of hell. I, yeah, I didn't have no choice, homie. If I just would have left, mm -hmm. then all those moons ending that were still in there, oh. that would have hurt like fuck, and I would probably kill. I would, would, I would probably have killed everyone. Oh, you you know that your 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 adventure kind of sounds like the uh, the the old ass episodes of Ren and Stimpy when the dog Ren got a toothache and all his teeth shattered and all he had left in his mouth were the nerve endings. Yes, it, yes, it was exactly like that. <laughs> it was it was like that. Yeah, it, 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 it was like that. And to all you uh, viewers, listeners out there, if, if you know what I'm talking about, hit us up. Hit, press the like button. Be like, yeah, Red and Stimpy for life. Yeah, Red and Stimpy. It was awesome. Well, anyways. Anyways, after a half an hour. After half an hour, the, the bastard came back. And he was like, okay, Michael, let's continue where I left off. So we went. So he took out his big ass pliers again. And he was, yeah, Jake, if you do that to me one more time, I'm gonna come to your house and shove my own phone up your ass. Uh -huh. Fuck you. Anyway, yeah, he, yeah, came, and, uh, yeah, he yeah. came back with the torture devices. Yes, he came back and uh, he was uh, trying to get my tooth out, but it didn't work. Oh. So, he had to use a drill. Uh. And after that, he went back to the big ass pliers. Uh, yeah. Didn't work again. Guess what he did? He fucked you in the mouth. No. Oh. <laughs> no. 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 He punched you in no. the face. No, he went back to the drill. Oh, God. And then, and then he went back to his big ass pliers again, and it didn't work. Jesus. He couldn't get it out. He couldn't get it out? No, he couldn't get it up. He couldn't get it up, and he couldn't get it out. Nope. Jeez. And uh, then he, then he uh, began to drill again, uh. and then he used his big ass pliers again, not in a sexual way, you motherfucker. I didn't say anything. No, but I could hear you thinking. No, no. And I know it's really, and I know you don't think a lot, but. <laughs> but but. I'm just trying to give you some credits. Uh, thank you. But but anyway, af after that, the the tugging, the pulling, the drilling, the 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 mouth raping. What happened after that? Well, he used the. I lied him a bad day. But he did get the tooth out, right? Yes. Okay. He did. Yes, he did. He, he, he pulled it out in several pieces. Uh. I, wanted to, I, I wanted to save it, savor it, because I wanted to give it to y'all, because I know you like that crazy shit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We like the wicked shit. Yes. Uh, I, but he said, you know what he said to me? He it, it, it went... When all was said and done and it was finished, he said, Well, this is the first time that that ever happened. Damn! But you do get some nice teeth. Yeah. But they were big. <laughs> Damn. Messed up. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I was bleeding for two days after that. Oh. Couldn't talk, couldn't smoke. Couldn't smoke, but I did it anyways. Because I'm a psychotic bastard. Yes, that that's true. You're you're a psychotic, bleeding in the mouth bastard. Yes, but I'm doing fine now. Good, good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. Damn, damn. Yeah, that that is one horrific horror story, there, brother. Yeah, let me tell you. If you were there, you would have kicked him in the balls. I know you would have. Oh yeah. And the manager would have. Uh, a little known fact back in the day when when my sister yes ladies and gentlemen i have a sister 
and uh, she had to go to the dentist and I had to be there as well because I was next in line and she was there in the chair <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and the, the, the dentist is also uh, a old ass creepy ass Nazi skinny guy and he was like okay now you guys in the chair you gotta open your mouth and they will do my thing and my sister she's like scared as hell you know it, it runs in the family and uh, she was sitting there in the chair and he, he was like uh, uh, almost on top of her, you know, try, trying to get inside the mouth. And he was using a tool. He, he was starting, uh, he, he was scraping stuff in her mouth. Uh, apparently it, it touched a nerve. And my sister, she did a full on Chuck Norris falcon kick straight in his nuts. <laughs> For real. She kicked him straight in nuts, and he was like, ah, ah, you know, like, ah, my nuts, ah. And after that, he was like, you know what? Get out of the chair. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> and she had to get out of the chair, and then I had to get in the chair, and I was scared like a little bitch, because I, I, I am scared as hell as for the dentist. But then I was ready, then she had to go back in there, and then he had to do his thing, and then he said, okay, and uh, now you're not supposed to eat or drink or whatever, uh, blah, blah, blah. She went outside, the first thing she did, grabbed the lollipop, stuffed it in her face. And I was like, you can't straight up there. Yeah, but the dentist saw her do it, and he, he wasn't happy about that. Oh, fuck him, he's an old-ass pedophile. Yes, yes, every dentist is a pedophile. Oh, that's true. So that was a thing, dude. It really was. Mm. But I do still got some stitches in my mouth. Hey, ah, sweet. You got some stitches in your mouth. Yeah, man. It was... Uh, yeah. Because it was a gaping hole, man. It was a gaping hole where my teeth was. Ah. Uh, you said you had some strong teeth, no Paco. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Where's your family? <laughs> yes indeed so so there you have it ladies and gentlemen michael's horror story yeah. a date if, with a dentist look if you were there well, all jokes aside yeah if you were there and with me uh, and he walked away i think you would probably run after him smack him in the mouth be like finish that and then do your thing. Look, I couldn't move. I was in a freaking panic position. I was like, oh my god, why is he going? No. Is it because, because we had a TV. Uh, there are uh, these TVs that he keeps on the ceiling. Yeah. Ceiling TVs. And I was like, why is the TV so scrambly? So scrambling, bro. I don't know, with a fucked up television. Yeah, I. I... Uh, please. When when you have a TV on your ceiling, that's basically used for porn, and I call it a porn screen. But okay. <laughs> yeah, look, look. If I would have, nah, 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 yeah, good Good to know, man. Good to know. And uh, hopefully you just scared the crap out of a lot of people out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they have seen this guy, if you have seen this guy, you would be like, no. 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 I'm getting out of here. Look, I'm, I'm going to another dentist because this one. Yeah. yeah that's, but... all that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, but actually, a uh, a jaw surgeon was supposed to do that kind of stuff to you, and not a regular dentist, because because it's it's a whole nother skill level, and not every dentist has that certain type of skill level. Uh, yeah, here in the Netherlands, we have a dentist for your normal teeth, and when you got something fucked up with your teeth, then they then they uh, send you to a different type of surgeon that works on your mouth. We call it a jaw surgeon. A kaak <laughs> Nice. 
Nou is niet zwaar, Ja, kaak, sierig. Kaak, sierig. New Dutch word. New Dutch word of the day is kaak, sierig. I still can't open my mouth. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But yeah, man. We we are now entering the uh, festivities of uh, Dutch uh, seasonally seasonally parties and stuff. Indeed, and it's gonna be a hell of a ride. It's it's one hell of a ride. Right here, right now, we have Branders faced. Branders. Branders. Yeah, we we have a burning fest. Second Dutch word of the day, branders feest. That is in translation. That's called burning fest. What we do might be shocking to the people who are not living in the Netherlands, because what we do might be a little bit too much for the outside world to know. But we are going to tell you what we do exactly but you're gonna tell it yeah yeah i'm gonna tell it because every every year it's like one or two days what is it it's a whole weekend right it's three days <laughs> three days burning fest what we do is before we get to the to the fest we always walk in uh, in, in 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 neighborhoods and in streets and we we check out old ass houses and we, we look at these houses and we'd be like Mwah. this house ain't in a really good state we could either uh, uh, clean it up or take it down or select it for the burning fest so so we we make a list and, and we check out each and every house on several streets and, and, and we note them. We, we give them a, 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 a red X on the door. Yeah. And uh, after that, once the burning fest is, is there, it's here, we, we start burning down those houses. And, and, and oh man, we party like hell. There are drinks, there's alcohol, there is music, parties, people going nuts. We walk around with torches. And we basically just lit the houses on fire, and the and roof. The, the, roof. the roof is on fire. Uh, we don't need no water. Let that motherfucker burn. So that's what we do. We, uh, of course, we we notice uh, the the uh, we ask the people who live in the houses to get out before the party or starts. Stay or stay in, whatever you, wherever they feel comfortable. Indeed. With. Either get out or stay in. Either way, we're burning that house down to the ground. So, yeah, that, that's a, a three-day burning fest. Uh, yeah, you are legally allowed to burn down old-ass houses. And we party. We Oh, man, we drink till we drop. And, and the houses they burn down, it is an amazing sight. It, it's it's an amazing sight, brother. Branders faced. When you get here in the Netherlands, you you should be here because right now, I I oh I I don't oh, I, I I witnessed houses being burned down to the ground. I was like, oh my god! But I inhaled a little bit too much smoke, so I went back home, changed in uh, in something else, and took a shower. And uh, yeah, and I'm just chilling because yeah. It's some, Wait, let, let me get this. Let me get this straight. Yeah. What? You went back to your house, changed your clothes, mm -hmm. and went in the shower. Yeah, man. Put your clothes on. Yeah, I always uh, shower with my clothes on. Oh, that's a thing. I, I, not even I can handle my, my, my sexy body. You know, I, I can't handle my own sexiness, so I have to hide it from myself that's why i wear my clothing during sh during the, the the showers and and stuff you know i can't handle it yeah. i can't 
I understand, man. I understand. Go. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's so, why I always have a shirt on, man. Come on. Well, what, what do you think I hide my face? It's be, I'm, I'm that beautifully awesome. Ugh. Because we're that burned. I mean. Shh, shut up. We're not going to talk about that subject. I know it, it went wrong somewhere along the line, but we're not going to touch that subject. <laughs> Why not? No. I mean, it was partially my fault. I mean, I was at that grumble's face, and I was standing next to a house, and I found it. Yeah. And the, the, the giant, big ass flame came out of my anus, and it burned your face. Yeah, I know. Thanks for that. There you go. I'll, I'll, I'll never forget that that moment. Well, neither do I. I wasn't expecting that that would happen. I mean, damn. Same here. I can never grow a full beard thanks to you. Well, there you go. That's what I'm good for. Well, thank you. But, but anyway, yeah, burning fest right now. And... I, I take it you also have a specific, uh, particular Dutch, uh, not, party? No, Jake, no, don't, I'm not gonna, you seriously wanna talk about, look, you've been here, you have seen how shitty that is. I know, but it may be shitty to us, cause we're used to it, but you just, this is your chance to glorify the shittiness. To the people out there who do not know about it. So maybe they think it it sounds awesome. And maybe they'll be like, you know what? I actually want to see it in my, uh, in, my in my own... No! No? They do not want to see it! My God! What are you nuts? If they see it, they'll get a heart attack. And they'll be, they're going to be like this. Oh my God! What am I doing here? They should burn... The Netherlands to the ground, and they would be right to do so. So, so what? What is it? Because right now you are making these guys out here very, very much curious. Come on, I told you my. I told you no, no, no. I told you about my burning party. Now you talk about your goddamn motherfucking burning party at your location. I was going to. Okay. I was going to. I'm sorry. You should be. Don't push but it. Anyway, I'm pushing it. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding, motherfucker. Oh, yes! Don't push it, Michael. I'm here as I'm well. Good. Damn it. Jay, get me out of here, please. Talk yeah. about your burning party, Michael. Uh, well, it is called Carnaval. Carnaval. That's a Dutch word. Yeah, tran Carnaval. Translation Carnival. And it's not the kind of way you be, uh, you think of. No, it's not. That would be awesome because, yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's kind of like Halloween, mm -hmm. only super duper duper lame. <laughs> okay, it, it's the lame, retarded version. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's putting it awesome. Well, <laughs> well, what it's about is people get dressed up. And people do silly things, which is not actually silly. It's, well, they uh, dress up and they party, I don't know, for four days or five days, I don't know. Um, they go to uh, the city and they all get drunk and, listen, and they're listening to Dutch music. Oh, yeah, and then it, it's called uh, the Fest of Fools. Yes. yes, yes, or else people might get confused with carnival, as in as in the circus. But no, it, it's yeah, yeah. I, I said that. I was like, it's not the carnival you've been thinking of. No, no, no. This is not the carnival you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but anyways, people get drunk and they have fun. They say here that uh, uh, when it starts to happen, people say this. It's the only few days where you can be as nutty as you want. Oh, shit. Only those four days. Four days. <laughs> I'm like, dude. Are, those are the only days you can 
do shitty things to be an idiot. I mean, I'm doing that every day. Yeah, but those four days. Yeah, that see that that's days. different to us, you know. For us, those four days are the are the only four days we get to be normal. And we do. But we, we actually are normal on those days. Yes, on on those four days we don't do we don't do anything. We just, <laughs> we just yeah, we're like we, we dress up in our nicest suits and yep. we actually help people around. We drink coffee. Yes, we help the elderly. Yes, we save children. Yes, we help we birth everything. babies. Yes, we help birth babies. Yeah, burn or birth. Uh, I thought you said burn. Oh yeah, yeah, we we do that too if if they want it, if they want it. Yeah, but it's really lame, and if you go to these bars, you know the the music there sucks. Oh yeah. It's like they got Mick and Pimo. Mick and Pimo. Yeah, Jan Smit did. Jan Smit. Oh my God. No. Oh, hold up! They're they're blowing up. A building right now. I I don't know if the if the sound can record this. Listen to this. Yeah. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Uh, it. It's a good thing you guys can't see what's happening right about now, but they are actually blowing up buildings. It's actually me. What the hell? Oh yeah. People are screaming. People are actually screaming. I think something's going wrong there. <laughs> well, I probably farted and it went your direction. So. No. Listen, man. They're shooting. They are shooting. This is this is not supposed to go down like this. It, it goes. Oh, it, it gets crazy around the weekends. Listen to this. Listen, to you. you thought Iraq was was horrible, but but you shouldn't be here if you're not from here. <laughs> Just like ABK said, if you ain't from around here, you get laid down here. <laughs> it's, oh man, it's, it's still going down. Yeah, the the uh, feast the feast of fools. Yeah, yeah, it's it sucks. And, uh, uh, don't ever bring your girlfriend to this thing because everybody will be touching your girlfriend. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. I remember once uh, you were there, right? Yes. It was so oh, crowded. You, you thought I was over exaggerating, right? Yeah, I know. But every, uh, uh, we were in the bus and it was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It, it, they usually s play music like this. Come on. Sounds like this. Yeah. And people would go insane. They'd be like. Uh, 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 gonna rape your girlfriend. Yeah, that's good. That's gonna happen. Ah, uh, that that music just fucking sucks. Yeah, it was, dude. It's the most terrible thing that could ever happen to you. I know. And and look, I, I don't care if people want to do it. If they want to do it, fine, but leave me the fuck alone. Yes, I know. Seriously. I know. Then, uh, I almost, uh, a couple of years ago, that was before we uh, did the professional show and all that. Yeah. I almost had to go to this party and to this thing at this bar, and there was, 
I was like, oh my god, I'm getting a panic attack. I can't come with you, honey. Uh. I was like, oh, 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 is it that bad? I said, yeah, it'll go away in a couple of days, maybe four or five days. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I got out of it. Damn. Pretty awesome. But I'm not, no. That, you couldn't pay me to do it again, to go there and... I know. Like, oh no, no, wait, so, something like this, something like, go again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> and it goes like this. Te groeta, te groeta, hij braaf, kut. Oh, we doen dat shit op al. <laughs> but I, I just I'm just giving the people a little whiff of what it's Look, you know what happens to me. Yeah, you I, do know that. I know. I just wanted the people know what it sounds like, how messed up it is. Yeah, it's it's even worse than that. I mean people are Oh god, it's it's something I can't uh, how do you say that? I can't describe. You have to see it once, and you will probably kill yourself five minutes later. Bro, the first time I witnessed it, when I went to your place, when you said, bro, it, it's gonna get a little bit crazy around here during the Fest of Fools, but try and stay calm. And I was like, okay, I'll just see what happens. And when I arrived at the station, it was packed with people and it it, it was kind of like like this i was like oh my god what's going on who are all these people why are there so many people on the train station oh my god the streets they're filled with idiots oh my god get out of my face you crazy bitch stop talking to me stop touching my butt leave us alone we need to run, Michael! Uh, yeah, we did. We were all like hell. Oh, it was like that, man. That yeah, was... Look, if there's one thing I hate more... There's nothing more I hate it. I... Look, I'm gonna say this on air. Yeah? I'd rather watch Twilight the whole day through than going to that feast. Oh my god. Yes, it's that bad. Damn. Indeed. Damn. Look, to, say, to say better, I'll watch Attack on Titan, the live action movie. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? The whole day through. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. I am. Yeah, man. But it's, I get angry and homicidal. Yeah, yeah. But but anyway, we also have another Dutch tradition. That yes, usually, it is, it's yeah, usually it's very sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Thing. It's very sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes me want to sneeze. Well, I can't say I blame you. Oh, it's uh. It's uh, Sinterklaas. Yes. My God. All, all I can say is, can't you people leave our Dutch tradition alone? I mean, yeah. pe people in the world, there, there's so much stuff going on. Wars, people being brutally murdered and raped. And, 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 and what not, and no, what does America do? They want to try and take down our Dutch tradition we like to call Sinterklaas. Because in their eyes, they think it's a little bit too racist, which it's not, by the way. No, it's not. The, the reason why they think it's racist, it's because they don't know what it's about. Yeah, and it's because, look, I've, I've said this to you before, I've, I had listened to a podcast, and there were two Americans, 
Yeah. They were like, they were pulling shit out of Wikipedia. Oh, yeah. And they were like, they were wearing, so these black beats were dick cards. I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never seen one of them wear a collar. Oh, I did. I did. You did? Yeah, but uh, uh, a paper white collar. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. No, they were talking about a color which, which you know, slaves had in those days. Oh. You know, those colors. Oh, those, those things. No, they don't have it. They don't no, have it. I was that. like, damn, are you guys that stupid? I mean, my God, what the fuck? Yeah, but, hey, let me tell you, Wikipedia is a very trustful site. Uh, yeah, but people get their information from there, and I'm like, you get the facts right. And it's not for the grown-ups. It's for the little kids. In indeed. And it's, not, and it's not like we're running after them with a whip. No, no. It, it, it's like when the people in America, they, they say Santa Claus is racist. Well, if they think that's racist, l l let me talk about... Uh, uh, no, 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 Santa Claus, huh? Sa if, if, if they say Santa Claus is racist, then Santa Claus is also racist. Because why? Indeed. Be because why? It, it, it's about a fat guy with a beard, lives in the North Pole, has a, uh, a slew of, uh, of elves, you know, little people, little people, they work for him. You know, slavery, they, they work for him, and he also does a little bit of animal cruelty by uh, working with the reindeers, letting them fly, as if a reindeer can fly, but anywho, they can fly, and then, yeah. and, and, and then he steals away the credit, you know? All those little elves, those, those little people, they've been working their asses off and they don't get any credit. No, it goes out to the big fat guy with the beard. Yeah, it's, it's look, there are many things that I've read what people think about Santa Claus and I'm like, dude, shut up, you're the most stupidest person I've ever seen. Yep. And Go fuck yourself. Indeed. Seriously. Indeed. The grown ups don't celebrate it. It's for little kids. Yes, it, it is a Dutch tradition, same as Santa Claus. It's about an old man, you know, that they could basically could have been brothers, for all I know. But Santa Claus, it's basically a old uh, Turkish guy, you know, and he lives in Spain. And he has a, of course, okay, he has a lot of black people working for him. And they're like uh, circus type of, uh, type of ninjas, you know, they make jokes. They're like clowns. Yeah, they're, they're like clowns, but they're black. And what they do, they hand out candy to the kids. They give candy away for free to little kids. They make the kids... And presents. Yeah, and presents. They give presents and candy away for little kids. They make the little kids laugh. They they are there for the amusement. They are not slaves. Hell fucking no. They are there to help Saint Nick and give away presents to the little kids out there. And I can tell you this, when the kids see the boat of St. Nick, when they see it coming down in the harbor, hey, they go ballistic. You have, they you, go nuts. They go nuts. And hey, I'm a grown ass man, but once that time comes, when St. Nick comes into the Netherlands with his boat, he has a big old, he has a big old steamboat. And when he honks that horn, hey, let me tell you, don't matter how old you are, once you hear that honk from that steamboat, you wake up, you sit up straight, and the first thing you say is, <gasps> Santa Claus! Santa Claus is there! Santa Claus is there! Santa Claus is there! Translation, you'd be like, you'd just, in translation, you'd be like, <gasps> Saint Nick is here! Saint Nick is here! He's here! He is here! Yay! Well, it's not just the local, it's... 
to, to get the real facts, you know. People, of course, grown-ups are like, yes, he's real, but the feast is actually just for little kids. I know, it is, it is for little kids. And the kids don't, don't go around and, and make racist remarks. No, the, the kids aren't judgmental. When they see St. Nick and they see the Black Peets, they are happy. They are excited yeah. because they know what is going to happen. They're going to get free candy. They're going to get free toys. And they get, to get, uh, and they get a handshake from St. Nick. And he'll be like, have you been a good boy? And they'll look at, yes, yes. Well, here's a toy. Have you been a good girl? Yes. Well, here's a toy. You know, that's what he does. And then he tells the parents, you know, he, he tells the kids to be nice to their parents or else if they're bad, they get to go in the sack. And then he takes them to Spain to like, uh, you know, uh, give them proper treatment or whatsoever. It's basically a scare tactic. You know, he never takes them to Spain but he tells the kids, well, be nice, or else I'm going to bring you home with, uh, with me to Spain. But he never does that. But the kids, they go like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to be a good boy. Because they know if they're not a good boy or a good girl, they don't get the candy, they don't get the toys. So basically, they're... Just like Santa Claus. It's the, it's the same thing with Santa Claus. Yes, indeed. And yeah, you know what's worse? Let me just get this out of here so I can... I don't know if you've seen it, but last year... Well... Oh, everybody yeah. What? With the whole bullshit of the Black Peets? Yeah, yeah, but it was... Last year it was uh, that too, and uh, they actually had different colors of Black Peets. Yeah, yeah. Be, be, Colored Peets. Yeah, be, yeah. There were kids were crying. Yes. Kids were crying with fear. I mean, I've seen it. Yeah. I see a blue beat, and I was like, is that a zombie? Yeah, yeah, I know. I've seen it. I've seen it. I was like, what the hell are you doing? Don't fuck up the tradition. You're scaring the kids. Yeah, but there were kids crying. It was kind of a disaster. I don't know if you knew that, but last year was kind of a disaster. Yeah, I know. And And not only that... Of course, here in the Netherlands, we also have, uh, how do I say this correctly, colored people, black people, and they are like, oh, this is racist because there are white people dressing up like black people and giving away free stuff, this and that. We don't ever do that. It's racist. I'm like, motherfucker, it's for little kids. Your kid likes Santa Claus and he likes the Black Peets. Deal with it. It's not racist, you know? Yeah. It, it is for little kids and the, the grown-ups just need to stay the fuck away from it. Just let the kids have a good, fun time. Let them enjoy their fantasy, you know? Just let them have a great time, you know? Don't, 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 yeah. don't fuck with the child's imagination, you know? Yeah, but there were even colored people, colored people, and they, they were saying, my guys, not my god guys, what the fuck are you doing? Leave them the way they were. Don't change them. Exactly. So, so basically what we're trying to say is, don't fuck with old traditions. Especially if it involves little kids. Let the kids have their fun. Let them have their imagination. Let them roam free. Let them enjoy what is there for them. And let the grown-ups just handle the, the grown-up stuff and stop trying to mess it up. Because every time, every year, around summertime, they'll be like, Oh, Santa Claus, it's racist. The Black Peets, it's racist. We need colored Peets. We need a white Pete. We need a peppermint peat, we need a blue peat, and a red peat. I'm like, no, no. Just keep it. Hold me, there was one, there was uh, last year, I, uh, it was uh, some time ago, that was on the television, you, uh, it, it all heated up again, you know, and I saw images of last year, and it was this peat. It was 
it had all different types of figures on its face. And I'm so yeah. because it was scared the bejesus out of me. I was like, yes. Bitch, you should go to the hospital because what's on your face? Looks Don't like herpes. Yes. It looked like herpes. But, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I'm going to ask my manager this. Hoe heet die Nederlandse programma ook weer met die Sinterklaas-tocht? Als ze naar Nederland komen, van Klokhuis. Dat is van de optocht. De optocht. Dat ze die boot, uh, zogenaamde bootlek hebben, dat al die zwarte pieten van boot afsprongen. Biebertje blok. Oké, okay. okay, I'm, I'm not even going to translate this, you guys. This was a little personal. But no. There uh, in the Netherlands, always, the, the thing what we always do, there's a, a kids program and th they have this program where, uh, where, where they follow Sinterklaas with the Black Peets and the boat, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're getting ready, you know, packing all the toys in the boats and all, and all the candies. And it, it's, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, it it it. it yes, yes, and it's it's a kids show, but the way they make it look, it's like the the kids can see like, oh, he's getting ready to get all the presents, and oh, they're 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 working on this, they're working on that, and then and they're, they're, there's going something wrong. Yes, so yes. Behind. Yeah. Exactly. So then something went wrong on the boat because there was this uh, female host. She was like in direct contact with, with, with the boat and they, they had a big uh, painting of her and they wanted to hang it on the boat, but they didn't have any nails. So they started drilling holes in the boat and by doing so, the boat started leaking. So all the black peats, they, they were like, oh my God, this ship's going down. We're going to drown. And they all jumped off the boat, you know, they, they escaped. They were like, we're gonna die, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so basically that left Sinterklaas all, uh, all alone on that ship. And he was like, fuck, what am I gonna do now? He, he didn't say that, but he, mentally he said, fuck, what am I gonna do now? So what he did was hire uh, a new set of peats and they became the white peat, the the blue peat, the the herpes colored peat, you know. The, he, he hired a whole new set of peats, and they all had different colored faces. And that the, the the reason why they did that was because all of the commotion about the black peat. So they integrated that in the TV show. Like, okay, this is our explanation on why we have new colored peats, and then. Uh, a couple of the black peats also came back on the ship. They fixed it. It was a whole thing. And then they finally came to the Netherlands. And uh, there was one old peat. He was like the advisor for Sinterklaas. And Sinterklaas said, you know, I'm also an old man. And sometimes, sometimes I don't feel so good. But you know what? You are my advisor, my long ass friend. And you know what? I'm going to promote you to uh, uh, to my position. You can also be a center class. So what they did was they gave a black Pete the same clothing as center class. So you had a black center class, and everyone was like, "Okay, that was well played." So basically, what center class did was showing not only to us to the kids but also to uh his to his people like okay i'm white you're black i am the main boss you are my helpers but i'm gonna give you the same position that i have because why we are all equal we are the same i don't care about the color of your skin it's like i'm a santa claus you're a santa claus and that that's how they uh, that that's how they fixed it, but even still, after that, each and every year they'd be like, oh, "It's racist! It's racist! They need to ban that shit!" And every year, it's like a, it, it's like a it's war. A 
It's a very yeah, it's big like thing. A, it's like a war going on. Yeah, every year it's the same thing. It's half of the people go like, it's racist. And the other half go like, fuck you. It's not racist. It's for the kids. Let them enjoy. And uh, man, every year, don't doesn't matter how they play it out. Every year it's the same thing. So this year, again... Yeah, did you know? But did you know that the, uh, I don't know what supermarket that was, but they were like, no, we're not going to change it. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah, we're yeah. We're not going to do it. Yeah, because in some, they wanted to change it that much that they uh, wanted to keep out certain products that had black peat on it. They're like, nope, we're not going to put black peat products in our store. Because it's racist. We don't want that. Well, that makes you a racist because you have to treat it equal. And then they went like, yeah. oh, we have to change all the songs for the little kids. We have to change the lyrics because it's too racist. We have to change it. We have to change it. And then they started teaching the kids those new songs. And then they asked the kids about what they think about the new songs. And you know what they said? I I don't like it. I want the old songs. And then they said, "Why? I know the I know the old songs. The new songs, they're not that fun." I love like, "Ha, ah, see? Let the kids have their fun. Just keep it like it is. Don't change it." Yeah, it's not it's not for grown-ups. I mean, come on, really? I mean, it's a big insult to us Europeans. I mean, Yeah. Yes, uh, look, if they think that we celebrate it, that, that we're doing that, that we're celebrating, uh, we grown up celebrating it, but we don't. We're doing it this for the kids. Yeah. And if you take Black Pete away, think about this. In the, the ye olden days, of course he had those types of servants, but if you take him away forever, you know what's going to happen? People will forget. Yeah. They will forget that 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 he had that. This is actually putting Black Pete in a positive light. Yeah. You know, they're positive. And they're like comedians. They do stupid things. Exactly. And Sin kids. Yeah, and Santa Claus gives all the Black Pete's a place to stay. He gives them food, he gives them shelter. They can do virtually anything they want to do just so long yeah just so long as they do what they need to do when the time is right to entertain the kids and other than that they can roam free and do whatever the hell they want so that is not slavery no not at all that is just one old ass guy helping out all the other ninjas out there giving him food shelter a place to work and a way to entertain the kids but if you really want to put it in a position like he was racist, actually, Santa Claus, he was actually, he helped people in the ye olden days. Yes, he, he was declared a saint. Yes, because back in the ye old days, he freed all of those slaves. Yeah. He freed yeah. them. When they, when they were slaves, he came down there. He freed them and he gave them a place to stay and a place to work and a place to roam free. Indeed, but look, I know people are wondering why. Uh, uh, I know the listeners are probably thinking they never, the professionals never touch on a sort of subject. Mm -hmm. That is true, but this is going too far. This is taking it to a whole new level and what you grown-ups don't realize is, is you're breaking little kids hearts and it, it's the same we can also bash them we can go like you guys should ban thanksgiving yeah that's what i always say look y'all be like oh thanksgiving that's the day of giving and partying feasting but no that's the day you guys celebrate on the fact that a lot of you people out there killed a, a lot of Indian people. Yeah. And 
So we're racist. We're not. No. You're racist. You're racist. Realize it. Yeah, you are racist for celebrating Thanksgiving. It's not the feast of giving. No, it's a feast of remembering how many people you have slaughtered to take a, a piece of land. Like, hello? How many Indians do you see nowadays? Well, not much. No, because they practically slaughtered each and every one of them. Yeah, I mean... You're like, hey, we're going to give you gifts. We're going to give you some... Some, 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 uh, uh, some blankets. Yeah, some blankets and some pearls. Uh, no, no, not pearls. Uh, beads. You know, the, those things you put around your neck. And then after that, yeah. we're gonna kill each and every one of you. And then we take your land and then we say, We discovered it. This is our land. And then you start celebrating it every year. Well, here in the Netherlands, we do not celebrate Thanksgiving because we know what it stands for. And hey, if if we piss you off by saying this, I'm sorry if you can't handle it, but we're just saying it how it is, how we see how it is. And if it offends you, well boohoo. Stop 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 messing around with our Dutch culture, which is called yeah, Santa Claus. Only we who, who, uh, who celebrate Santa Claus. I mean, it's a part of Germany where they celebrate it. I don't know if you know uh, if you knew that. Yeah, I just and in Belgium as well. Yeah, just keep talking. I need to gonna take a piss. Why? Because I need to. <laughs> if there's something else on your mind, just feel free to s splatter it out there right now. Yeah, but it's, it's just like just like Jake said. I mean, my God, it's not like we're putting. Black beat in a negative light. No. They're actually positive. They make little kids laugh. And yeah, and it's every year the same thing. But it's always it's it, it it always starts up in the summer. Why? Just give it a rest already. And I know there are, there are not many people listening to the spook cast, but if you if you are listening to it then look at it from our perspe uh, perspective. Just dig a little in the history. They're all, they're, uh, as long as I know, if I know my history correct, that it was, they did it once that all the black beats were white. But I guess how that, ha uh, guess what happened? It sucked. The kids cried and it was a very, very major fuck up. That's why they went back to Black Pete, and now we're gonna have Color Pete. And most of them look like zombies. They look like goddamn zombies. I mean, even I was scared, and trust me, I've seen some uh, poopy. <laughs> You've seen some poopies? I've seen some. No, I was, I was saying that. I'm back, by the way. No, <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> <laughs> Is it you, Black Pete? Wink, yeah. wink. Yes, it's me. <laughs> no, but, but what I was saying was, is like, look at the color of Pete. They're, they are frightening. Yeah. They're frightening me. Yeah. Sick. Me for fuck's sake. Well, look, we've seen shit. Yeah, you like horror shit. And then when we saw the color of Pete, we were like, what the fuck are they doing? What are they doing? I was seriously wa I wanted to go there with a shotgun and blew all their heads off. Yeah. Uh, indeed. Uh, indeed. But, you know what? If we should stop celebrating, if Black Beat needs to go, then I say Thanksgiving needs to go. Oh, yeah. Wow, everything right here is now on life support. The, the camera is on life support. The cell phone is on life support. You're on life support. Yeah, beer. <laughs> but yeah, man. I'm gonna drink beer. So yeah, in, basically in short, don't touch our Dutch culture. Don't touch our tradition. Leave it the way it is. You just... Yeah. 
You, you, you just handle your own shit in your own country and we'll handle our shit in our country, okay? This is and not... not anyone. This is not Team America where you can play the world police. If you see something that offends you, you can be like, oh, we're going to take care of that. No, leave it, leave it a fuck alone. It's yeah, like... Like I said, because you, you were taking a piss, I hmm? said, do a little history. Do a little history. As far as I know, there's never been one death at, uh, you know, when Santa Claus... Uh, no, never. Ends. Never. Never. And, and, and the guy sits on a horse, and the horse runs on rooftops. I mean that I mean that's we totally forgot that part. But that that is one skillful ass horse. Yeah, but not only that. If you piss off Super Cross Oh Has you ever seen the Dirty Saint? You have, I know you have. Yeah, yeah, if 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 you're a movie buff Yeah, if if you're a movie buff, you guys out there, check out the Dutch horror movie called The Sint. You want me to spell it? You want me to spell it for you guys? It's D E S I N T. The Sint. And it's a Dutch horror movie, and that's a side of Sinterklaas you do not want to see. That's his evil side. When you when you fuck with him. That's what he's gonna be like, and oh, you don't want to see that. Damn. No, but we know. We know. And hey, every time around Santa Claus, I'm I'm a, like I said, I'm a grown ass man. But every time when I hear that steamboat go, I go, oh shit! And seriously, hey, eh, I check out my shoe. You know what I have? Uh, you know what I find in my shoe? A spider. No, no. Those, those chocolate, those chocolate gold coins. You remember those? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, those are, uh, yeah, no, me too, me too. And I was played because, uh, well, let, us, let us tell them this. Yes, we tell all, look, When Santa Claus arrives, before you go to sleep, yeah. You need to place your shoes. Yes. Somewhere. Yeah, you need to. You, you need to. That, that's an old tradition. The night before he comes to your town, you need to place your shoes somewhere in a close by vicinity where he can spot them instantly. And he knows you're a grown up. So instead of giving you a toy, he just gives you something. Letting him. Let, letting you know that he knows you and. It, it's a little present, and you have to be, you, you're, you're happy with it. He gives you a bag with chocolate coins, you know, the, or, pe yeah, paper nota, pepper nuts. Pepper, pepper nuts. Pepper nuts. They give you pepper nuts. But yeah, that's his way of saying, hey man, I know you're an old guy now, but I haven't forgot about you. Here's some gold chocolate coins and some peppermints. No, not peppermints, but pepper nuts. It's, yeah, I was just about to say peppermints. Yeah, no, yeah, no peppermints. Yeah. Pepper nuts. Breath is smelly. That's it's word smelly. of the day. Paper noten. Paper noten. <laughs> Fiat. Nuts, they, they are pretty delicious, but I can't eat them. No, no, same here, same here. They're too hard for me. Just give me the... Oh, man, I'm afraid I'm going to break my fucking teeth with those things. you can go to the dentist. Oh, no, no, no. No, we've heard that horror story before. But, yeah, man. But, but yeah, man. Just leave it alone. Leave it for the kids. Just, just fucking enjoy and get along, you know? Because if... Spread the word. Spread the word. Yes. Spread the word. Keep the old school traditions the way it's supposed to be, and stop bitching about it. And just like I said before, I mean, Jake and I, we uh, usually when there's a worldwide problem or a problem in a country, so we don't acknowledge it. 
because we just want to be positive. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. You guys laugh, but this is going way too far. Not only are you taking our traditions away, this is what happens. You mentally, listen to me very carefully, you mentally scar kids. Yes. And, and, and like... It's, that is unacceptable. Indeed. And like like my homie said, like like Michael said, there are way more serious things going around in the world right now as we speak. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna say it very short. There there are refugees and silent soldier killers invading countries everywhere. Huh? Sleeper cells. Yeah. There there are, there are refugees. <laughs> slash sleeper cells invading our countries. They'd be like, yeah, we are war refugees. But we're not sure because a lot of them don't even have official papers to prove who the fuck they really are. But each and every country is letting them in. And I'm like, not a good thing. Not a good thing because there are like a lot of sleeper cells out there also invading our country and they all be like. There are pictures showing up of refugees wearing the, waving the ISIS flag. Hey, I saw a picture of a, uh, of a soldier. Yeah, one of the ISIS soldiers holding a decapitated head, being like, "Oh, look what I just decapitated!" And then you see a picture of him in his normal civilian clothes, invading our country, like. Okay, who is scanning these people? Nobody, because they are jumping over those barbed wires like it is nothing. But they'll be like, oh no, come in our country. We will take care of you by the thousands. Come to our country, we will help you. No, that is a big no-no. And like we said, we're trying to stay away from that subject because people will think, badly of us but trust us and in a month or two shit is gonna hit the fan and then once they realize it it's too late but anyway it's too late. let's go on to some positive things yeah I mean, it's not, I mean, by the way i don't think we were that negative were we that negative no no we're not negative we're just saying what's on our chest but ask yeah the manager ask the manager mm -hmm. Are we being too negative right now in this episode? She's waving her head no. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a little uh, confirma confirmation. And, and also soon, Halloween. Yeah, but look. Halloween is upon us. Probably more importantly, we've done some major shooting for the movie, man. That's, oh, you're just going to skip Halloween like that. Like, oh, yeah, Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one day we try to be normal. I do have to ruin holidays, okay? I seriously have had it. You know what Michael does on Halloween? Nothing. He's like, I'm going to be me. I'm going to take off the mask. I'm going to be me. I'm going to walk down those streets while everybody's in masks. And, and dressed up like ghouls and whores. He's just going to walk around being himself. That's the yeah, scary you part. You know what I look like. You know what I look like under the mask. Yes, yes. I, I burned your face too, remember? Yeah, it was pretty horrible. I mean, using that deodorant can, it, it was an awesome idea. Yeah, he was sleeping uh, that day. I was like, <laughs> you burned my face, motherfucker. I'm going to burn yours. And it did. And it didn't even notice me after. No. After seven days, I was like, what's wrong with my face? Yeah, that, that's when we actually became burning buddies. <laughs> yeah, we were. We were. We're like, we're burning buddies. Your face is burned. Mine is burned. <laughs> we are connected. <laughs> So, so what we look like underneath the masks. Exactly. So yeah, dur during Halloween, I just take off the mask and I walk freely among the masked people out there. <laughs> yeah, but they will be scared regardless. They will come yeah. to you and be like, 
And I'll be like, no, that's my, that's my face. That's my face, Biatch. And it'll be like, oh, oh, oh look, uh, look at the time. I need to uh, eat my dog. I need and to cover run. myself in poop just to be safe. Yeah, and they do. They do. They shit their pants right in front of us. And then roll their, then, then they take their pants off. And they roll themselves into the pants. Yeah. They will come up smelling like poop. Like a lumpia. <laughs> Dutch word again. Another Dutch word, lumpia. A lumpia. Then that's uh, that, that called uh, an egg roll. Or? Yeah, yeah, that's called an egg roll. Why is that called an egg roll? I don't know. I lumpia sounds better. Yeah, but if you translate egg roll to Dutch. Then it just does. Yeah. Then you say this. I roll. Yeah. I roll. I roll. Ik wil een I roll. Een I roll, als je blieft. Yes, and, and, and then, then that lady would look at you like. Tort your day or what? I roll. Sambal vai? Sambal vai? Yeah, Sambal vai, I roll. Nay! Notch and notch. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, Halloween is awesome, but it, it's not very big here in Holland. And by the way, there are many little kids who celebrate Halloween. Yes. Here in the Netherlands. Yes, but but it, it it's not the way they they do it in in in, in America. Here in the Netherlands, it's like yeah. It's rock with shotguns. Uh oh. And be like, oh, you don't give me candy? You don't give me candy? <laughs> oh, yeah. And it blasts right through your door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah th these little kids in the Netherlands are ruthless. They are. I mean, people think of Holland uh, that, that it's all rules are good and monoscine. Oh, no, no, wait. They, they, in, in the Netherlands, we call it uh, St. Martin. No, that's something else we celebrate. Sint. We do celebrate Halloween. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but but Sint Sint Sinter Martin, Sint Martin. Sint Martin, Sint Martin. Yeah, Saint Saint Martin, Mar Saint Martin. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, you want to hear a funny story about that? Saint Martin. <laughs> Thanks, Martin! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was listening. <laughs> little, little, little lamps, little lamps. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but they were made of paper. Saint Martin. And, and everybody uh, had, uh, had a few of these candles in them, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> they didn't trust me with a candle, so they just put a piece of paper in mine. Jay, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I was four or five, when well, that happened. Was that during Burning Fest over here? <laughs> you you were celebrating Saint Martin at the Burning Fest. You, you was confused. You was confused. No, dude, but that, that's a true story. You can ask my mom. I was the only kid whose lantern wasn't lit. Oh yeah, it's one lantern. Lantern. That's exactly the same thing. Yeah, lantern. Yeah. yeah. You had the green lantern with a, with the fake light in it. No, no. Nah. No. Nah. I had the pink lantern. Ah. Uh, it was very pink. It was very, oh, the, the rats are fighting. Yeah, but dude, dude, I never celebrate. I never in my life have ever celebrated Halloween. 
Now, but but I but I think we need to do a, a, a little like Halloween theme esque with, with, with our uh, next episode or something. Just uh, you know, a little bit here and there. So I should dig up these corpses in my backyard. Yes. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm 40. Oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to talk about it. No, no, no. Okay. okay. Oh, no, there was another thing you was want to talk about? The movie or something? Yeah, the movie. Our movie, the professional movie. We have done a lot of shooting, bro. Yeah, but not enough to make the movie complete. <laughs> no, but, not, but not enough, man. No, no, you're right, but I... Did anybody even realize that? I don't know if I can say this, but you know, in episode seven, yeah, that, ah, that oh, <laughs> that's what you get. That's my anus. Yeah, I know it was. That's why I said it. But in episode seven, we were at a lot of sets where we filmed for the movie. A lot of what? We were on a lot of sets. You know where we filmed for episode seven? Oh, sets. Yeah, I, I, I said sex, you stupid dipshit. I thought you said sex. I'm like, what? Yeah. I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> what What <laughs> part of the movie was you shooting? <laughs> I was making the porno. I, I, I had my part of a scene I had to shoot where you weren't in there. And then you had to shoot your part of the scene where I wasn't in there. So I... I have no clue what part you were shooting. I wasn't there, but if you had sex during that scene, well, kudos for you. But I don't know nothing about no porno. Yeah, you do. No, because I wasn't there. Yes, you were. I was eating cheeseburgers. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. So, so what you're saying is there's going to be some nudity? <laughs> You're asking me? Yes, our movie, it's gonna have nudity. It's gonna have blood, guts, gore, science fiction, Scientology, Tom Cruise. It's gonna have everything and mostly nothing in this movie. <laughs> that is true. All your expectations will be blown out the door or not. We don't know, you don't know, we don't know, but what we do know is that we're still working on it, and the ones who are waiting for it, hey, kudos, you know, respect, and uh, I know you guys are waiting for it, we're waiting for it as well, and what's it about? Some people are asking what it's about, and I want to say it, but... Also, I don't want to say it because I want to keep no, it a secret. No, don't say it. We already said it in another spoofcast. Yes, and if you have paid attention, then you know what it's going to be about. And we're not going to keep it in a constant rerun. So, if you're a hardcore no, listener... I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, my God. My God. My God. It's going to be about my God. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not a good thing. What? That's not a good thing. What? What are you oh, doing? That's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, yeah, stop bleeding again. Oh, you're bleeding again? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think it's about that time we should wrap up this episode once more. How long is this episode, actually? Uh, we are at 90 minutes. It's long enough. It is long enough. So, uh, that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she always said. But, yeah, man. I, 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 I hope you guys have fun listening to this episode. It was perhaps maybe a little bit controversial. A little bit out of our... Uh, corner of I don't know what you call it but 
we had to let some stuff off our chest and let you people know what's going on around the world. And no, we did not mean to offend each and every one of you, but we just wanted to let you guys know what's going on around the world and what, what the focus points are. I don't know even what I want to say. All I want to say is... Well, I know what you mean. You're, uh, what you mean is... I forgot what you meant. Indeed. But, yeah, man, in short, we want to thank you guys out there for listening to another episode of Spookcast, a podcast thank adventure. You. And And to that special ninja out there, Chris... Chris? Yes. I, uh, Chris for Forensa. I'm having a I'm having Did you say forensic? Did you say Chris Forensic? No, not forensic. For for Forenza. Well, I'm I'm having difficulties pronouncing his last name. But Chris, Chris. You, know, you know that it's you we're talking about. Chris, we know you know that we know that we're talking about you and to, to, to give more details that you know that we are talking about you, you are the guy that also collects the Monsters of the Universe classic figurines. So now yes. you know that we that, that we know that you know that we are talking about you, Ninja. Yeah. And awesome picks. He always yes. makes awesome picks. Man. Yes. Um, they're awesome. Great toy collection. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. And uh, to all the other ninjas out there, I don't know who is listening at... Who else is listening to the show? But I do know that Chris is listening to it. And we want to thank you. Big love. No homo. Big whoop whoop. And and to all the other peoples out there who are listening. Also, big love. No homo. Whoop whoop. And uh, and, uh, on that note, we are going out in style. We are going to hang up on this episode. And we will be back with a brand new episode of The Professional Show. And we also will be working our butts off for the movie. When, it's, when is it going to come out? You don't know. We don't know. Uh, it'll be there once it's there. When it's done. Yes, once it's done. So, this, this was Spookcast, a podcast adventure. With your host, you know me, your homie, Jake Juggalo. And me, Michael the Psycho, and we're signing off. Indeed. Peace. Peace. Whoop, whoop. Take care. Whoop, whoop.